Morning all, we're doing a quick walk today from Wedder Leap Car Park up to the Border Ridge, might pop into Scotland and then we walk across to Windy Gyle. Weather's not looking bad so far but it's going to be very wet because there was a lot of rain and snow yesterday but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully there'll be a bit of snow lying around when we get to the Border Ridge. This is the river Corkett and then down to Alwinton. We're just walking up past Barrowburn. This track more or less goes straight up to the border ridge. Might even be a little bit of sunshine over there, or well, certainly none of that last week. Just reached the top of my second least favourite hill in the Cheviots. Straight ahead there with a few trees on the top. I think that is called Middle Hill. And if we look down to the right, there is a cottage there called Fairhoff. Used to be surrounded in trees until probably about one year ago. Those trees have been felled and there's a new, tro new crop ready and waiting. Just about to pass Fairhoff. It's pretty empty today but I do believe you can rent it out. Quite a nice place to stay for the weekend. Those clouds are looking ominous but let's hope we're going the other way. We should be doing about 17 miles today but we might have to change that depending on what the conditions are like once we get up to the border ridge. Some of the terrain's a bit rough, but we'll see what it's like when we get there. This hill we're just approaching is called the middle. There's a little burn down there which is called Usway Burn. We're going to walk up this track to a waterfall called Davidson's Lane. I suspect it might be a little bit busy up there because there was a lot of rain yesterday and the waterfall will be in full flow. So hopefully we'll get some shots of that when we get there. Just looking up the valley there to Usway Fud. And then back down the valley to Alwinton, that's a hailstorm that's just passed over us. Thought it wasn't too bad. Not sure if it'll come out on camera, but there's a rainbow just appeared over the snow in the forest. So hopefully that's a sign of some sun to come. Unfortunately it's raining now, so that rainbow was a sign of rain, not sun. We turn off the track soon to head down to Davidson's Lint. We'll capture some footage of that when we get down there. That's us turning off the track now to go down to Davidson's Lint. Always really muddy down this bit, so it would be 10 times worse today. Rain stop for now, but the sky's looking a bit ominous. So we'll see how it goes. Just 
It's looking down. The Davison's Lint. Climb down there and see what's there. Probably can't see me for the waterfall, but that's Davidson's Lane in full force. There's Bob just heading down. Hopefully he doesn't slip. Could be some footage for you being framed here. There's John standing at the top. Bob just about at the bottom. Need a little bit of sunshine. All of yesterday's shown rain. We've eventually reached the border ridge. Weather's not the best. Light rain. So that side of the fence is Scotland. This side is England. We're nine miles from Alwinton. If we head in that direction, we will be at the shill where we walked to last weekend and further in the distance, which you can't see for all the cloud, is the Cheviot. We are now going to head off along the border ridge to the summit of Windy Gile, which I think will probably be snowing by the time we get there because it's a lot higher than where we are now. Still heading along the border ridge. We've only walked about six miles so far, but there's been a lot of climbing, and the conditions aren't the best for walking fast. We've got just over 10 miles left. Probably not much else to see along the border ridge until we get to the summit of Windy Gile, which hopefully the rain will have stopped by the time we get there. Right, just nipping off the Pennine Way a bit to go to the summit of Windy Gile eventually. It's a long time getting here because it's hard going walking in the snow. Some of the drifts are well over knee deep. Not much to see unfortunately. Right up in the clouds. Eventually made it to the summit. There's a trig point, horrible, rainy, cold. It's starting to turn to snow now. It's cold when you stop, but it's okay as long as you keep moving. I'm going to head down from Windy Gale now and along the Pennine Way to the Lamb Hill, the refuge hut where hopefully we'll have some lunch. There's nobody already in there because of social distance and etc. It's 
the rope down from Windy Gale. Sun just starting to peek through. Hopefully that's a sign of better weather to come. That's just passing a Pennine Way marker. Following the Pennine Way for a bit now. We've decided we're not going to go to the refuge hut. It's going to get dark in two hours and it's going to be tricky walking in the snow when it's pitch black. So we'll stop for lunch. Healthy option, beans and sausages. Probably a wise decision. We're heading back down to the Corpet Valley now. It was just cold, really heavy spell of rain, and it would have taken us at least, at least two hours walking off track in the dark. So it's common sense decision. We're going down the track that we know back to the road. Weather's brightening up a little bit. There's John and Bob off in the distance. Socially distant, of course. I'm still waiting for my camera cover coming from AliExpress. I think we'll have a long wait yet. In the meantime, I've just been using a sock. Hope my camera cover comes soon because I've had one cold foot all week. That's us walking into the sunset. End of a very nice day. It's typical, as soon as we come down from the tops, the clouds lifted. That's the ridge there leading up to Windy Gale where we were earlier. As it happens, it's brightening up quite nicely now. Still cold, still a bit windy, but much nicer than it has been all day. There's John and Bob heading down in front. There's some cheviot goats. Looks like a couple and a, a young one. Nearly walked straight past them. Blend in quite well even though they're black. That's about as much of a sunset as we're going to see today. Still too many clouds about. Right in the background there, still got a bit of cloud on top. That's Windy Gile, where we were earlier. Looks like a bit of a storm over there. Only a couple of miles now though, maybe we'll be back at the car. The very last of today's sun.
well that's it we're nearly back at the road and i reckon it's probably a mile down the road to Wedda Leap where we're parked just a little bit past Barrowburn where that pylon is in the distance I don't even know if you'll be able to make it out on here it's been a very nice day looking forward to the next walk